a new work of mine that's been premiered in a few weeks' time in Manchester, Apollinaire's Bird, which is no book concerto, is very much based on landscape. Um, it's, uh, it's called Apollinaire's Bird because it's taken from, uh, the idea of it is taken from a poem by Guillaume Apollinaire, who was a French surrealist poet and, uh, and uh, the first person really to uh, write about and defend surrealism and worked with the Dardes and so on. Um, but he has some wonderful poems, and uh, I have a collection of his his poems. I had a I have a collection of his poems, and uh, uh, one day went to my bookshelf, and it happened so often with me that I just opened, picked it up, and opened it, and there was this bird, this poem, called Un Oiseau Chante, a bird sings. And I read it, and I thought, well, this is a very nice idea. The bird is singing. The man is reminded of uh, former loves and lovers, and my my goodness. He's surrounded by the crackle of rifle fire and two penny troops, and he's in the trenches. And he's with his mates. As, I mean, Apollinaire fought in the First World War, was very seriously injured, had to have a, a metal plate inserted in his head, survived all that, and about two or three days before the armistice, he died of Spanish influenza. Mm. Very tragic. But he, he, he thought it was great to be a soldier because he thought he was doing something worthwhile and he loved the comradeship. So here we have this, he's writing about this man in the trenches and there's a tree with a solitary bird singing and they're all listening to this bird and the bird's song reminds the soldier of the things he's left behind. And I thought, well, this is a great idea for an oboe concerto because they've, rather naively, the oboe is the bird which sings, but the orchestra is the landscape is the terrain in which this bird will sing. And so in terms of answering your question about light and dark and, uh, and so on, uh, the very beginning of this concerto, we have the bird song on its own, two phrases, and it's, it, it's a kind of an ide fix. It comes back all the way through the work. The orchestra comes in with a very searing um, octave unison which is like a flash of light. Mm. Um, there are dark rumblings in the, and I tried to, in, in, the, uh, in, in the orchestra, but I try, and I tried to make this huge difference between the dark rumblings and the very top. And it's like these three things are almost literal. Mm. Song, the darkness of the trenches, and the searing light. But I couldn't make an entire piece of this. So, what happens is that as, as the bird song starts to evolve and develop, it takes the mind of the soldier elsewhere. Mm. 